Yo, what's up, guys? We're back with another recap slash rent. And today we're talking about the Falcons versus the Texans, man. The Falcons win 21 and 19. The Falcons are now 3 and 2. The Texans are 2 and 3. And now, if you didn't know, for the Falcons fans, the Texans, where their stadium is where the whole 28 to 3 happened. And you already know, uh, we took that personally. Even though they didn't play like we took that personally, but that's where it happened, man. So to be able to get that W and kind of put that in a way behind us and. Uh, to go for to win in the fashion that we did, that means a lot. So even though we played like a piece of trash this game, but the fact that we finished it off that meant a lot. We're gonna get more into detail, but first, y'all know like start with the away team, and that is the Texans. So anyway, as far as CJ Stroud, he was twenty for thirty-five, two hundred forty-nine yards and a touchdown. He didn't really do anything too crazy this game. Only thing, cause you know you that like to give the team credit stuff like that. The Texans on offense didn't do anything that I really was like, oh my gosh, yo, that was freaking amazing. Like how I gave respect to, um, oh, uh, dang, what's his name? I forgot his name. Talk about giving respect to him. Like I did, oh man, oh my gosh, Jordan, J- Jordan Love. Jordan Love played phenomenal when we played them, but they ended up losing. This game, CJ Stroud, the only thing I will really say about him is that he looked very comfortable in the pocket. His offensive line was great. He looked like he knew what he was doing, but. Some of his receivers, you know, dropped the ball. He could have made some bigger plays. But I'm glad our defense stepped up. But we're not on our defense yet. Anyway, their running back went 20 carries for 66 yards, which is freaking great for us. Um, Schultz had 70, uh, 7 receptions, 65 yards. Dale, all these guys. Only person i seen on their team actually do something was number 12, which was Ian Collins. I don't know his full name. What is his full name? Nico Collins. It seemed like every third down. Or the whole entire game, the only thing they were doing was running slants. There was nothing the, the entire game they did that was creative or nothing. Just slant, slants. The middle of the field was wide open. I guess because we was playing man coverage, because we believe that our guys are better than their guys. Glad Jeff Okuda was out there. On the other side, A.D. Terrell was out there, um, you know, to stop these guys out there. So the defense was great. But as far as the Texans go, I can't really say too much about their offense or their defense. So, with that whole segment of, oh, you know, let me talk about this team. The Texans didn't do anything, bro. They kicked field goals the whole game. They scored one touchdown. Uh, who the heck was that guy? It was Schultz. It was a tight end. So, shout out to the tight end. He had the, the best uh, the best game for them. He was the MVP of them. But other than that, they didn't really do anything. Oh, they got that Henry Tutu guy. I did not even realize that. And he led the team in tackles for them. So, good stuff to them. But as far as the Falcons, all right. Y'all already know about the Falcons, man. First of all, I told y'all, bro. I told y'all. This is exactly how we were supposed to do this, bro. Even though they were sloppy. Even though he was terrible. The offense could have did a lot better. Arthur Smith realized in the fourth quarter you have to open up the playbook. Y'all look at my last videos. Guess what happened? This game. They involved Scotty Miller this game. He had two receptions for 10 yards. Average five yards a catch, man. Shout out to Scotty Miller. The little Scotty Miller, who was out there with Tom Brady, you know, just don't, you know, Tom Brady, you Scotty Miller, you know how he did Eric Wood, not what they, not, no, not Eric, what the heck I'm, talk, I'm talking about, uh, Julian Edelman, my bad, Wes Walker, guys like that. This is what this man brings to the table. Scotty Miller should be utilized a lot. If they like doing that short stuff, then use the small guys that can do that. That's how Tyreek Hill, all those guys I just mentioned, got their name by doing the short stuff, do the slants. If you want to do a slant in the middle of the field, use guys like uh, Scotty Miller. If you want to do a screen at the backfield, use a guy like Scotty Miller. Glad to see all of these freaking names. And, of course, the number one I've been talking about for the longest, Kyle Pitts. I literally made a Madden video roasting Arthur Smith saying, oh, I want him to block in the freaking thumbnail of the video. And finally today, Kyle Pitts, which is freaking insane that I've been talking about this for the longest. Kyle Pitts, seven receptions, 87 yards. I feel like this is the most this man has had in a long time. Probably in like two years since the rookie season. I don't know if that's true or not, but that is insane. Kyle Pitts, I don't like that they Julio on him, which means every time he makes a big play, they just take him out immediately. Like, it's like they don't let allow somebody to be in the zone. Oh, yeah, let's go this pass. Let's go, you know, let's keep going. They take him out. I don't like that. It's like they can't get nobody into a rhythm. The only person they have to keep out there is a quarterback. So, anyway, Drake London, his best game of the season. Six receptions, 78 yards. That catch he had on the sideline when his helmet came off, he was hyped. That's the type of Falcon energy that I want to see. Even though, like I told you, they played like trash in the beginning. I don't know what the freak they were doing, but we ended off good. 
John New Smith, six receptions, sixty-seven yards. That's what I like to see, man. Look at all, look at all this. Six receptions, six receptions, two receptions, one, one, one. They freaking put Keith Smith out there receiving. Michael Pruitt, who went great for us um, last year. I think he had like three touchdowns, four touchdowns last year. Hodge had a freaking catch. Scotty Miller had a catch. CP, who I I don't understand why you're not running the ball with CP no more. It's like they realize I, I believe he's on his last year of his contract. It's like they don't want him to look like he's doing anything so they won't have to pay this man. It's like they want him to, oh, you only had, what, zero carries this year and you was on kick return and, you know, the with the rule, you can't really even do anything because they're kicking the back of the end zone. It's like they want this man that looked like he had a trash season so they won't pay him or whatever. So, I don't know what that's about. Um, but I told y'all, look what happened. When you open up the offense, good things happen. We could have scored way more points than 21 points, in my opinion, but that is what I've been talking about. That's what I've been saying since week one. Utilizing your talent to the best that you could possibly do. If you're a coach, you're an NFL head coach. Us as fans, we see it. We can see the whole field. we like, oh, shoot. Why this person ain't getting the ball? Why this person ain't getting the ball? You get paid more than all of us pretty much. Well, I ain't going to say all of us combined. Okay? I don't know what the heck everybody does out there. But for a person that's a regular, regular worker out there, this man gets paid millions of dollars to go out there and do something that we always talk about. Kyle Pitts should be utilized. The dude is a first-round pick. Why is this man a first-round pick always out there blocking? Look at this man. 7 for 87. Average 12.4 yards a catch. That is what I'm talking about, man. Kyle Pitts, the number one draft pick. Utilize this man. Not out there as a blocker, bro. They're trying to stupid. But I'm glad he finally was able to do what he had to do, man. But anyway, let me go ahead and go to Desmond Ritter, man. 28 for 37. 329 yards, I believe this is the most he's had in his career in the game. And also, guess what? Desmond Ritter is still undefeated at home. And he had a rushing test on this game. So, shout out to Desmond Ritter. I told y'all, man, his game is throwing it down the field. If you watch his college highlights, I understand the offensive line is kind of iffy. But when you watch his college highlights, that's all this man did was throw it down the field, bro. Throw it down the field. This little Brandon Weedy short dunks. Uh, dump offs is, is is irrelevant. That's not his game. He's that's not him. But as you see, when you want to do that, give it to the little guys like Scotty Miller. Thank you, thank you, Arthur Smith. Even though, like I told you, that was <laughs> that was rough. That first half, I was ready to just freaking destroy these dudes. What the freak are they doing? They got to execute. I believe he could have caught some better plays this game, but the fact that he Hold on, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Well, Tyler don't count, so 10 because he didn't catch the ball. 10 different guys re- received the ball this game. That makes me very happy. And rushing, they even did a freaking trick play with, with Desmond. Not with Desmond, with, with uh, what they tried to do with Hodge, but I think he dropped the ball. They did a trick play with Drake London to throw it to Johnu Smith. Stuff like that. That's what I'm talking about. Drake London was one for one for 22 yards, man. This is what I'm talking about. You're known for your offense, but the offense is trash, and the defense is the one that's that's making the team look great. If it wasn't for our defense being so good, we could have probably got blown out by somebody with a great freaking offense that overpowered our defense. So anyway, um, so offense, how could I forget about Bijan? Bijan, 14 carries, 46 yards. Tyler Algiers, 17 carries, 40 yards. Desmond Ritter carried the ball four times for 10 yards. Had a rushing test, and I told you. And Hodge had one carry, zero yards. That was the one he kind of dropped in. I guess he got back to a lot of scrimmage. But, yes, guys, this is what I've been waiting on, man. I don't know why it takes the whole game for this man to open up the playbook, but this is what I'm talking about. Desmond Ritter throwing down the field, doing play actions, rolling out the pocket, rushing for the touchdown. This is what this is how the Falcons, this is like his whole – his team set should be throwing it to the tight ends. He, all the tight ends got involved this game. That is what I'm talking about, bro. So, Arthur Smith, you got to be consistent, bro. Not consistently run the same freaking plays over and over, but consistently consistently utilize your talent to their best potential. This game could have been way worse. That's why I'm kind of happy because even though we played a terrible game in the beginning, we still was able to finish it off. And I hate that the defense, when it really mattered, that's when we gave up the touchdown. But my brother-in-law was like, oh, man, Desmond ain't going to come down here. I'm like, you know what? 
I was probably the only one I was like, you know what? Desmond Ritter is clutch. Mariota wasn't clutch. Obviously, my boy Matt Ryan was clutch. Top five or top eight, top ten all the time in comebacks. Desmond Ritter, he is clutch. And I've been saying this even when he was in that preseason game. Desmond Ritter is clutch. I actually trusted this man to come down the field and did exactly what he did. Despite all the, the bull crap that was going on in the game. Speaking of bull crap, usually you all you already know I don't even talk about penalties. This game... I didn't even know a defense can get delay a game. We got a delay a game penalty on defense. We up there getting unnecessary roughness calls that was a loss of down, and then they still enforced it. I don't know what the heck was going on with that, but it is what it is, man. But that's the offense. Now, defense, you already know how I am. So that's Jeff Okuda. He had led the team in tackles. But we know who got started. Well, you know who got to talk about, man. Calais Campbell. For me, looking up on the field, the man finally pretty much did something. He still ain't got his 100 set, but he he looked like he actually did something. He actually got a Tiger for losses game, I believe. A few of them, if I'm not mistaken. But he tried to, he tried to fake that. I don't know. I ain't going to say he faked the injury, but I'm just messing with y'all when I say that. But he tried to go down with that injury, so I won't get on him too bad. But he actually played decent this game, man. This is what I've been waiting on. Calais Campbell, step up, bro. You got all of that talent. You need to be out here doing something. You're not just here for me and a veteran and all that stuff. You are here to be an asset to the team. You and Grady in the middle, you're supposed to be dominating, pretty much. It's not like Grady Jarrett for that crazy tackle. I think a wide receiver had a slant way in the middle of the field. That man ran up from the defensive line, came all the way back, and hit the heck out of that man. Good stuff. But from looking at this game, from me like really just paying attention, the defense MVP for me, was the uh what's his first name? Yeah, Nate Lemon. Nate Lemon, which is interesting that um uh I think the only reason why he's really playing is because Troy Anderson is hurt. But Nate Lemon, three tackles, four assisted. He had did a great um pressure against CJ Stroud at the end of the game to make sure he didn't do anything. This man, Nate Lemon, is really good, man. So that's number fifty three for y'all don't know. Caden Ellis is still going crazy with the tackles. D. Alford probably played his best game of the, uh, of the season. I think D. Alford in the slot, Jeff Akuda on the outside, AJ Terrell on the outside, they're doing really good. Ayumada still going crazy with the tackles. Everybody, Jesse Bates almost had to pick this game. I thought he was going to get one because it was a rookie quarterback. But he kind of dropped it, or Robert Woods kind of swatted out his hand. The Robert receiver was playing defense on him. So, yeah, man. Uh, Desmond Ritter also got a tackle. They didn't really show. I think he got a tackle this game from... We had too many fumbles on offense. John who had a fumble. Bijan had a fumble. Um, and I actually think that's why Arthur Smith took a knee at the end. At first, I'm looking like, bro, what are y'all doing? Get the first down. At least, you know, get some further yards and we'll be straight. But I heard some kickers are weird. Some kickers like to have that backup space a little bit. And some don't like to have that space. So maybe Arthur Smith was scared of the fumble. Maybe he wanted Young Miku to have some more space while kicking the field goal. I know it sounds funny, but some people are like that. Even when you're trying to throw the ball, people like to back up a little bit so they can have more field to do stuff. I don't know how that goes, but yeah. So anyway, um, the only thing this game that bothered me was the score. I feel like if they execute it better, we'll be straight. Arthur Smith, you gotta you gotta do this more often, man. You gotta you gotta open up the playbook. You gotta really utilize your talent a lot better. And we'll be straight. If we can score points on offense, our defense is straight. The defense was out on the field for too long. <laughs> Way too long, man. And it's good to see that all these guys being involved. It's good to see Ritter, like, be clutch. I told you that, what, last week or the other weeks, they was like, oh, get this man up out of here. I'm surprised they don't put Taylor Haneke. I told you I like Taylor Haneke. The dude is a magician. i never seen some of the passes he's made. Dude getting sacked for... Plus 50 yards. Like, I don't know. This Taylor Haneke is amazing. But Desmond Ritter, I feel like he he's, he's a special quarterback. And I told y'all that. I think he has a Mahomes-esque vibe to him. When he really gets going. When he really, when he, I'm trying to tell you. When he really is allowed to be that guy. And I know they're trying to make him. It's like they're trying to force him to be that guy. But when he organic, organically becomes that guy. And you see how clean he just went down the field at the end of the game. Like it was nothing. Hoo hoo, foo, hoo hoo, foo. Uh, 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 uh. All that little play recognition stuff, audible in, coming down the field. That's what I'm talking about, man. I told y'all, man, this man is nice. People saying, oh, we need a quarterback. No, we, we don't. Even I got, um, you know what I'm saying? I told you I get back. 
even a guy that had gated water to, you know, on the side of the road before I went to the game, he was like, man, we got a quarterback? And I was like, yeah, we got a quarterback. He's going to be all right. He was like, man, I'm not sure. Today, Desmond Ritter showed y'all, man, that he is that guy. And he is undefeated at home. He's going to protect that nest. We just have to do better in the road. We have to execute. We just got to do better, man. I feel like Arthur Smith keep opening up that playbook. Darius Murder keeps going out there and doing what he needs to do. Think about it. He, he passed the ball for 37 times, man. And how many times did we run the ball? 14, carried the one. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I don't know how much that is. I ain't going to lie. Hold on. So we carried the ball. We threw the ball and ran the ball around the same amount. Pretty much even, if I'm not mistaken. Hold on. Plus five. We literally passed the ball 37 times and ran the ball 36 times. That's what I'm talking about. Shout out to Arthur Smith on that. We just got to do better, man. Shout out to everybody. Good stuff, man. Good W win. And Calais Campbell, like I said, don't be, don't be doing no injuries like that, man. I'm going to still be on you if you mess up. So don't be doing stuff like that. But Desmond Ritter is that guy. Good stuff. Um, anything else I'm trying to think. Um, I like the trickery. I like um, that we was able to run the ball a little bit. We, we weren't really... Didn't run too crazy, but I like that we was able to go down there, man. Um, Tyler Algier had a rushing touchdown. B. John Robinson had a receiving touchdown, two receptions, 12 yards. Um, and it just felt good, man. Drake London, good stuff, bro. That's what I want to see from you, man. You were first round pick as well. Kyle Pitts, first round pick. Drake London, first round pick. These are the guys that need to be out there on the field, not out there blocking, not out there just standing there waiting for some weak route. Go out there and maul somebody, man. Go out there and body somebody up. You all the size for no reason. Like, that's what I'm saying. Arthur Smith. What's the point of getting these big guys? These big Randy Moss beefed up. John New Smith, 6'6", six, 6'5", six, six, motherfuckers. If all you're going to do is throw slants and freaking screen plays. They're put on the team because your scheme is play action, run out the pocket, throw the ball down the field. Why are you doing all this short stuff? So, there we go. Offensive line look way better than they have the last couple of games. That play action, that that play action, I forgot. I think that was that play to the Drake. I believe we had got the ball back, and it was the third quarter. It was a first down. The first play was a play action, and it was a shot down the field. That was that's the type of stuff I'm talking about. That is genius. That's what something people didn't look for to because they, I think they had CP in the backfield or they had somebody in the backfield. So you would think, oh shoot, new running back in the backfield. They're going to get the ball. But guess what? Play action. Uh, uh. Drake. Uh, uh. Uh. Man got hype. Even though they put him on the sideline. Because I guess his helmet was off. He was. They had to come down a little bit. Hey, you can take it easy. But that's what I'm talking about, man. So anyway. Arthur Smith. Good stuff, man. It could have been worse. Good way to. Doesn't matter. Way to clean it up, man. Um, everybody, as far as the experience of the game. It was cool. I didn't really see a lot of Texans fans. Um <laughs> But uh, it, it was cool. It was cool. It was cool. It was it was a vibe this game, and they had the stadium open. It was cool. It was chill. It's funny that the away team always gets the sunlight and we get the shade. Um, so yeah. So I think that's pretty much it when it comes to this game, man. Um, I'm glad we was able to f- pull something like this off. That's that's the main part about it. Usually these type of games, the story was, oh the offense is good. The offense is good. And then the defense was trash. Or the story was the offense was bad, the offense was bad, the defense was good, the defense was good. And finally, when we needed to have the offense, we would fail. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, something, it's something stupid, bro, but I'm glad we're good, man. Um, so, yeah, man, all I got to say is y'all be cool, y'all be safe. Let me see who we play next week, and then we'll give a little thing on that. Okay, we play the Washington Commanders. Matt Ryan to make his return to the Mercedes Men's Stadium week six. Is that the next game? That's a, right when I looked up the game, they talking about Matt Ryan gonna be at the stadium week six. I don't know what's up with that, bro. Hey, shout out my boy Matt. I got I got the jersey on right now. Bro. I ain't, I ain't, you know, I still got I still got Matt with us. We still got Matt with us. So anyway, next game against Washington Commanders. Y'all know I like Sam Howell a lot. I like Sam Howell. When they they showing last year's schedule. Oh, yeah, which is interesting. Taylor Haneke, that's the game I told y'all. Taylor Haneke was amazing last year, but now he plays with us. And I like Sam Howell a lot. And 
they play here. So I'm looking forward to watching him play. But I don't want the guy to win. But I feel like we have to look out for that man. Sam Howell was a great talent. He actually went to Cam Newton's camp. Obviously, Cam Newton is from here. Um, and he said Sam Howell's a dog, too. And y'all clearly seen it. That man, Sam Howell, was nice. Hopefully, he doesn't do us too crazy because our defense is playing good. But I wouldn't be surprised if we got to look out for that man next week. So, anyway, I'm out, man. We out.